So my wife and I went to the local farmer's market last night and I got some starts. I got this heirloom tomato. It's a pink tomato. Looks like an interesting shape. Zapotec large ribbed. The guy grows them from heirloom seeds. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to put that one in the bed today. And then we like mint, but we're going to grow these in pots because I heard they're kind of intrusive. But this is an apple mint. This is another regular variety of mint. I can't remember. Check out Christopher's mango tree. <laughs> Isn't that thing going crazy? It's pretty cool. There's a second one that's about half the size, but it promises to be just as big. But this guy loves it. It's going crazy. So I'm going to clean up a little bit today and then put some more stuff in the ground. Looking good. So there's our new little heirloom tomato. First tomato in the bed this season. It's beautiful out here today. Something I wanted to show you guys. These store-bought green onions. These are still alive. You could take these, just cut the tip off, and plant those roots in the ground. And yeah, let's see if you can see that. They will grow. That's green onions. They said you could do that up to seven times with one green onion. You should never have to buy green onions again. Cool stuff. And here's a little update on my Jeru Jerusalem artichokes. Say that ten times fast. Sunchokes. I think I'm going to do a whole little snippet a whole little episode on these guys. There's a lot of information. I think everybody should be growing these, whether for nutrition or if you're a shit hits the fan gardener, um, looking to take care of your family when future food prices start going crazy. These are high calorie, really good things too. Hey, it's my puppy. Oh, and she's going pee. Okay. Good girl. All right. I wasn't meant to be, but cool. But I think I'm going to do a whole thing on these guys. So you guys might find this cool. I don't know if you remember, I had the one episode of saving store-bought seeds from those three bell peppers. And this thing, it's still bunched together pretty good, but this thing was packed. I put all the seeds into this one thing. Look at how many bell pepper plants I ended up. I tore it apart and transplanted it. Got a couple bunches that'll eventually kill each other off, some of them. Or... Let them fight it out. Put it in the bed. But look at that. Look at all the bell peppers I got. Plants, red, uh, orange, and yellow. It's from that one package of three bell peppers. How much that's going to yield. I thought that was neat. Transplanted that yesterday. They seem to be doing okay so far. If you could believe this, my bare root apple tree that I started this whole adventure. First season. It's got an apple growing <laughs> off of one of the branches. Two apples growing off of one of the branches. Unbelievable. Really doing well back here. Seems to like the spot I picked out for it. It's doing awesome. The lemon tree already has probably about 20 lemons already, and I just put that in a few weeks ago. They're still babies. Thank you. 